speaks a whole lot of water and of the spirit, and I had lost my verse. But anyway, I can explain it. The Bible talks a lot about, about water. You find water mentioned all over the scripture. From Genesis to Revelation, we find water. And in the New Testament, we find the water as representative of the, of the spirit of God. And so I want to try to illustrate this morning about how being how how having the Spirit of God in your life can help uh, help you live a live a good Christian life. Now some of you have not been saved yet, but you will one day. And uh, sometimes I think you don't understand anything I'm saying, but I understand that later on you tell mom and daddy that you know what you learned. So that's all good. So let's let's say that this sponge. Let's say this sponge is us, okay? Let's say that this sponge is, is me and you, okay? Can you, you think you're a sponge? Huh? Well, let's pretend, all right? Let's pretend that we're sponges, okay? Now, how does that sponge feel? Pass it around there. How's that feel? And dry, right? There ain't nothing in that, is there? Huh? There ain't nothing in there. Feel of it. Touch it. There you go. There you go. Feel of it. Did it feel dry? Yeah. Breathe that feel dry and light. There ain't nothing in that, is it? So what can you do with this? What can you do with that? Scrub your face? <laughs> oh. Huh? But what, what's it for? What's a sponge for? Cleaning dishes, exactly. <laughs> Have you done that before? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's look here. Now, if that sponge is us, we don't want to be like that sponge, empty and dry, do we? As a, as a Christian, we don't want to be an empty, dry sponge. Adults, y'all pay attention to this. I'm going to make a good point here in a minute. And uh, so we don't want to be a dry Christian. We don't want to be a dry Christian, do we? So what do we need? We need, we need the Bible. We need the Bible. We need uh, prayer. We need, uh, what else do we need? We need fe fellowship. Yeah, we need salvation. You're right. That's the only way we can, that's the only way we can absorb any waters. We've got salvation. Now then. Now we've got all, we've got a little bit of all of these things. We've got salvation. We we pray a little bit. We read our Bible a little bit, and we fellowship a little bit. So we've got these things in us already. We got now feel of it. What does it feel like? Wet, ain't it? Huh? Feels wet, don't it? And cold. Now wet, get it? Wet and cold. Now I can squeeze that. And I can get a little bit out of it. Okay? Now, now, that's what happens sometimes to us as Christians. You want to say, okay? That's, how, that's what happens to us sometimes as Christians. We might have a little bit of Bible reading, a little bit of prayer, a little bit of, of studying and, and those things. And once the test comes along and once the world comes along and once uh, problems come along, we feel like we've been squeezed and drained out and we're dry again. But what we need is that we get so full, we get so full, and we get full of the Spirit of God, we get full of, of the Word of God, we get full of the teaching of God. Till when somebody comes up to us, they can ring out, ring out, ring out. We still got it in us because we're full of the Spirit of God. Now, we get around somebody else that's dry. We get out around somebody else that's a dry Christian. Here we go. This is Frank. We'll say this is Frank. <laughs> or Thelma, being this pink, we'll say it's Thelma. Sorry, Frank. I used the wrong color. Now, if, so, if, somebody, if somebody is full of the Spirit of God and they're, and they're, and they're uh, uh, you know, read their Bible a lot, they pray a lot, you know, they pray all the time, read their Bible, 
And, and every time you get around them, they want to talk about Jesus. And they want to talk about the things of the Lord. And you ask them, how are you doing? Well, I'm fine. I'm doing just well. God's been good to me. That's the kind of people that I want to be around. But not only is that the kind of people I want to be around, that's the kind of person I want to be. So when I get around somebody like that and I'm a dry sponge or Thelma's a dry sponge, you know what's going to happen? Just being around that other person, she, that, that one's going to start to soak up some of that run over, some of that leftover. And so even if, that's, even if that's what we get, that should encourage us that to, that to try to be around people that are full of God and ourselves, that we want not to be full of just what they've got, not to just experience what they've got, but that we get, to get what they've got. And get, listen, I'm telling you, if everybody in here, if everybody in this building becomes full of the Spirit of God, there is no telling what God will do here at Gable Creek Baptist Church. So, young as it's important, as you go through life, to remember, you need to read your Bible, you need to pray, you need to uh, be around Christians that read their Bible and pray so that you, too, can be full of the Spirit of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for uh, Lord the illustration this morning and for the Bible teaching that we should be full of the Spirit of God. Help us to be that. And, Lord, help us to... to be in such a way that others that get around us, Lord, we want something that we've got and, and, and want the same feeling that we've got. We'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's give these youngins another big hand. Y'all did good this morning. Well, if you don't walk off, you can have something out of the bowl. Yeah, get you a piece of candy. Leave some for Joe. Thank <laughs> you.